Good morning and welcome back to another art lesson. Today we are going to be starting a silly faced city project. So what we are going to need for this project is you are going to need a blank sheet of white paper. You can use a smaller piece of paper like a normal size like eight and a half by 11 or you can use a large piece of paper. Whatever you have available to you is fine. On your Google Classroom, I have added a couple of attachments. I have added um, visual examples of how to do the project. And I have also added a file that has a lot of silly faces on it for you to look at for inspiration. So what we're going to do is we are just going to follow this guide step by step because there's kind of a lot of steps to this project. I am going to be starting with a marker. You will be starting with a pencil first and then outlining with marker. You are also going to need crayons and markers if you have them. If you don't have markers, just use whatever you have available to you. Okay, so the first step is we need to draw some rectangles for our city. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding in different sized rectangles. Some are gonna be small, some are going to be large. I like to put them side by side just so you can see all of the faces. But if you want yours to overlap a little bit, that's fine too but just make sure that you can fit a silly face. Okay, once you have all of your rectangles, then you're going to add the tops or the roof to all of your buildings. So we're gonna make all of these look a little different. So the first one I'm gonna do maybe just a triangle. This one I'm going to add kind of like steps so it looks like a tower. Maybe it's got a little like antenna there on the top. Maybe this one is going to have just like little rectangles that go across the top, just like that. And then maybe I'm going to do a triangle with some circles. And then one more. That one's just going to have two triangles. Okay, once you have that done, then you need to start adding in your funny faces. So if you can't think of any funny faces, I have attached this worksheet. It's got all kinds of silly faces for you to look at and then to add to your own drawing. If you don't want to use any of these, you can certainly create your own. That's your choice. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding in some of those silly eyes, noses, and mouths. And if you want to go in and add like eyelashes, that's always fun. Smaller details like that. Okay, maybe this one's going to have circle eyes. I'm just going to be kind of looking off to the side. Could be a triangle nose. Triangle mouth. Okay, so you're going to go in and add silly faces to all of your buildings. Once you have that done, then you need to go in and add windows and doors to your buildings. You could do regular squared windows with regular doors like that. Or you could get kind of fancy and you could do windows that look like this. It's up to you what kind of windows and doors you add to your city. Okay, once you have all of your windows and doors done, then what you are going to do is you are going to trace everything with a black marker so it looks just like a coloring book. If you have pieces of the eye that need to be colored in black, 
I would go ahead and just do that now just to get that out of the way. Just to fill it in. There we go. Okay. Now, once you've done that, then you are going to get out your crayons and you are just going to start filling in some of those windows and doors. So maybe I'm gonna color in my windows blue. Maybe I'm gonna do like an orange door. And then maybe I'm even going to color in the roof. Okay. Now, if you have markers, you can go ahead and follow along with the next step that I'm going to show you. If you do not have any markers, then you can just go ahead and color in your buildings using crayon. Now, if you have markers, I'm gonna show you the little marker trick. So I'm going to outline my building with my washable marker. So it's got a nice thick line. And then I can go in with either like a Q-tip and water or a paintbrush and water. And I'm just gonna wake up that marker that I just added I'm going to paint my building. I'm gonna paint around the windows and around the doors, just like watercolors. Now you don't want your paper to be soaking wet because then it's gonna rip and it's gonna be really hard to work with your paper because it'll just be way too wet. I'm gonna paint around the eyes like I said, if you don't have markers, then you'll just color in your building using crayon, which is fine too. All right, once you have your buildings painted in, kind of let it sit for a minute and just let it dry. Then we're going to go to the next step. The next step is we're gonna work on the sky. In the one that I have finished, I did kind of like a dashed line using my marker, and then I just did my marker trick to fill in the background. So you are more than welcome to do your background that way, or you could do like a spiral. You can fill up your background that way. And you could leave it like that, or maybe you want to do the marker trick with the spirals. So you could go in and you could just paint over top of your spirals. You could fill in your background that way. That's your choice too. If you don't have markers, well then you could just go in with your crayon and you could add spirals and pressing down kind of hard. And then you could go in with a lighter color. Whoop, I can't hold on to my crayon today. And you could just color right over top of those spirals. So there are many different options for you to choose from. Whatever you have available to you is what you just need to use. You don't need to go out and buy a bunch of new stuff so if you don't have markers, you can still do this project with crayons, okay? So I am going to leave the video with this showing at the end so you can see what the final project is going to look like. Let it dry, take a photo of your work, upload it into Google Classroom, and then hang on to it until you get your final grade. Remember, I have these two pieces of paper uploaded as attachments into your Google Classroom. So you will have these to look at. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Good luck making your silly faced cities.